Layout module from Angular provides you with utilities to handle screen size changes and to build responsive UI. Great thing about it is that you don't have to write any media queries, which is sometimes hard to maintain. Previously, you had to use host listener in a component for the window resize event, but you had to maintain the service, write tests to make sure it was working properly. The key to making our application responsive without writing our own media queries is Angular CDK Breakpoint Observer Service. This service provides us with an API that notifies about the current dimensions of the screen and any changes to the screen orientation. This module is part of the Angular component development kit, so you need to install it by running npm install angular cdk. The breakpoint observer service comes with a series of pre-built CSS breakpoints that identify different types of devices and screens from factors. The good news is that you actually don't have to maintain these CSS media queries yourself. Now, how does it work? Let's say that we have a layout with a text and image and we want to optimize it with our breakpoints. A link to the sandbox starter is in the description below. First, import breakpoint observer and breakpoints modules from Angular CDK layout. Let's add two properties that we can use as flags and adjust our layout depending on the size. First one is hide logo and we will use it to toggle the Angular logo. And the second one is ease mobile, which is more general flag, but in this case we will use it to style the text. They are both set to false. Next, we want to register our breakpoint observer. Let's use it in the ng on init and call the observe method from our service. As a parameter, you want to specify the breakpoint that you want to handle. In my case, I will set the small breakpoint. Now we can subscribe to it and in the results we can check if the breakpoint matches to the screen. In that case, we can hide our logo. But also, we want to reset our flag to default before any changes get applied, otherwise it will remain true always. To use our flag, add ngif directive to image element. Now, if we shrink down our window, we can see that the logo disappears. Let's say we want to handle multiple breakpoints. I'll use small and x small. And let's add is mobile flag as well to handle the text. Now, in this case, we are getting back a property which is a map object with breakpoints. In the first case, we check if it matches the small breakpoint and we execute the same code. But let's add an additional conditional where we can check x small as well. If this is true, we want to set both of our flags to true. Now, let's use our is mobile flag to add text small class to our title. And the, all this class does is to reduce the font size, padding and margin. And as you can see, on large screens we have default layout, on small screens our logo gets hidden, and on the smallest resolution our text gets smaller. So this is how you can easily target breakpoints and manage your UI without a need to customly write any media queries. I hope you learned something new. Please let me know if you like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.